Welcome to our unboxing of the Drive JetNeb Compressor Nebulizer System. Today we're going to go through what's in the box and what comes with this compressor set and we're also going to go through how to set it up and use it and some basic care and cleaning. Each drive kit comes with a compressor itself, a disposable set of cup and tubing, a reusable set of cup and tubing, as well as a pediatric face mask. The compressor itself has a filter in there already, but they also give you five extra filters for use as needed. Let's get into how to assemble your compressor with the reusable cup and tubing. You're going to start with the tubing itself. Both ends are the same adapter, so it doesn't matter which one goes where but either one you're going to push first onto your compressor itself as far as it will go and the other side is going to connect to the bottom of the cup and again you're going to make sure that's nice and tight on as far as it will go inside the cup you're going to have your baffle which is this blue piece here this is very important because if it's not in here the compressor and the cup and tubing will not be able to actually make the mist for your medication so you want to make sure that that's placed in there just gently and then you take the top of the cup twist that on so it's nice and tight and then you have two options you have the mouthpiece if you're using the mouthpiece it just goes right on and that valve needs to make sure to face up if you're not going to use a mouthpiece you also have the option of the pediatric face mask that it comes with and that just pushes right on and then this can go on to the child you want to make sure that when you have the face mask on that these holes are facing down now when you're using the reusable cup and tubing, it is recommended to replace it about every six months. And when you do need to replace it, you can do that right on our website at acceleron.com slash replace. When you're waiting for the replacement to come in, that is a time when you might use the disposable set. So we're gonna assemble this. It's very similar with a few different adapters and pieces, but you are still going to start with the tubing. Again, the ends of the tubing are the same. So either one, you're just going to put it onto the compressor just like you did before. The other side is going to go to the bottom of the cup, nice and tight, and this one will go all the way to the bottom of that. The baffle looks a little bit different on this one, um, but it is a slightly different color, but it is still very important. So that needs to go on there with the medication. Then you put on the top of the cup. Now here's where it gets a little bit different for your mouthpiece. If you're using the mouthpiece, you actually have this T connector, which has a larger opening and a smaller opening. The T connector is gonna sit on top and you have this piece of tubing that's going to go on the back on the smaller section and then the mouthpiece is going to go on the larger section and this one doesn't have a valve so it doesn't matter which way faces up but this is the setup if you're going to use the mouthpiece on the disposable set if you're not using the mouthpiece all of this goes to the side and we have an adapter to use the actual pediatric face mask so the adapter has one side with ribbing and one side without the side without goes right on there pushing down. You take your face mask, the side with the ribbing, and that goes on there. Again, making sure that the holes of the face mask are facing down. It goes right on. The disposable cup and tubing can be used for about two weeks, and then that's when you would throw it away. We mentioned before that the compressor has a filter in it, but they give you five extras. The manufacturer does recommend that you replace the filter around every 30 days, but it really does depend on how frequent the compressor in the kit is being used. So the filter itself will look kind of gray when you need to replace it. So let's go through how to actually replace it now. It is going to be on the bottom of the compressor itself. It's this little gray circle here. And what we're gonna do is just pull it out gently. And you'll see that filter in there. You're just gonna pull it right out. Again, the old one will be gray if you're replacing it. Put the new one in, making sure it's sitting in there flat. And then you can just put it right back in to the bottom of the compressor. So let's set up the compressor and the cup and tubing with actual medication in it. So you have your tubing connected to the compressor itself. You put it onto the bottom of the cup. And then you would take whatever medication is prescribed and that's going to go in here, making sure you fully empty it. And then you put on the top of the cup. 
Now, if you're using the mouthpiece, you would put that on, or if you're using the pediatric face mask, you would put that on. But I'm just gonna show you the mist first. The power button to turn it on is on the side. And when you see mist coming out, you know it's working well. So to begin the treatment, you wanna make sure that the patient is sitting nice and upright. If they're using the mouthpiece, they need to take long, deep breaths, and it's going to be a nice, slow breath. And after the inhale, if it's possible, to try to pause for one to two seconds before the exhale to get that medication really into the lungs. When they're using the pediatric face mask, you wanna make sure that the mask is covering their mouth and their nose. And again, the patient is taking long, deep breaths and pausing for those one to two seconds after the inhale if possible. Depending on the medication needed, the treatment time can take five to seven minutes or possibly a little bit longer as well. You'll know when the treatment is complete because you'll hear sputtering or you'll also see that the mist has started to stop coming out. It is recommended to clean the cup and tubing after each time you're using the nebulizer in the kit. There are a few pieces that you're going to make sure you don't submerge in water. So that's going to be the compressor itself, any medication tubes or anything like that, or your tubing for the compressor in the cup and tubing. The compressor tubing does have the chance of getting some condensation in there. If that happens, you make sure to disconnect it from the compressor after using it, and you wanna make sure that you let it air dry and you can just hang that up to do so. The filters themselves are not meant to be put in water and they don't need to be washed as they're replaced anyway. When it comes to the pieces here for our cup and tubing, either one, again, reusable or the disposable, you want to make sure that you fully separate all of your pieces. So your mouthpiece will come out, your top of your cup, your baffle will come out, and then the same thing for our disposable. We're going to take the T-connector off, the top of the cup, the baffle will come out, and all of these adapters are going to also be separated in your mouthpiece. Once they're fully separated, you're gonna take them and put them in a clean separate bowl from the rest of your food dishes, and they're gonna sit in some warm soapy water, wash them as you normally would, rinse with clear water, and then all of these parts are going to air dry. And you can visit us at acceleron.com for replacement parts, educational videos, and more.